Hey Rainbows, and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. So we have a good amount of stuff to do in this episode. We're gonna talk about the intro that you guys just saw. I'll clarify some things. There's some story posts that are linked in the description below that I've posted since the last episode, and I'll talk about those soon. We're gonna meet Genevieve's new boyfriend, and I'm excited for you guys to meet him. We're gonna be spending a good amount of time with the Willow Creek Royal Family, and then Samaria and Bella Bellatrix are going to be having their baby in this episode, and there's also a proposal that's gonna happen in this episode. That'll be towards the end, so we'll get to there soon. But yeah, I'm really excited. So we're currently at Caspian's dad's house. This is actually the house where Caspian grew up and also where he was born, but his dad, Maleko, so he lives here. They have like such a nice view. I love this lot. So, oh my gosh, I would love to live on a lot like this. But currently it is within the same week as the last episode. If you remember, Caspian and Alice May, they're both in Sulani. Alice May is with her friend. She's with the teens. Caspian's with his dad. So it's within that same week. And actually, so we're gonna be here with Caspian and I'll explain the intro. And then I'm going to move over to the teens. And then it's actually, so there's, I'm gonna have a small machinima, a very short one. And then it's going to be a time skip. So right now we'll say it's like September. And then the time skip is gonna be to December. I also wanna give a big shout out to Riley because he was the one who made the outside of the school that I used in the machinima that was Caspian's high school. His gallery ID is in the description below if you wanna check out his builds. He was the one who built the Dakarai Palace and Han's family's palace, so the Kinching Palace as well. I had sent him some pictures of schools in Hawaii, so he built that and it was great because I couldn't find anything like it in the gallery, so that was perfect. But right now, so Caspian and his dad, they're here. I would like them to like go swimming. I wish there was a surf interaction, but you can't surf in The Sims. Also, this would not be a place for them to go surfing because it's like the bay. Why don't you guys just go swim around together? That's fine. Okay, they are swimming right now. It looks like there's someone snorkeling. Oh, they could go snorkeling. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Wait, can you snorkel? How is she doing? Oh, snorkel, snorkel together. <gasps> you can. Oh, that's cool. Okay, but yeah, okay, anyway. So the intro, you now have learned why Caspian got expelled. Just to summarize things and give any details, if you miss something. So Caspian went to this school. It's not a private school, but it's one of those schools that you need to take and is it an entrance exam? I think that's what it's called. An exam to get in. Okay, so they're snorkeling now. But yeah, Caspian was staying late at school one day and he ran into this kid who was stealing money that the school got from a school fundraiser. So it was like a couple hundred dollars. This kid was trying to help out his dad. I think Caspian, he was so, like he really felt for the kid because he's so close with his dad. And I think he just imagined like if he was in that situation. So I think that's what really caused Caspian to, even though he knew like he was getting expelled, like he was getting punished for it, he still didn't want to tell on the kid. So when you guys saw the kid in earlier in this episode and in the last episode, him seeing Caspian, he just like automatically felt guilty. And then you guys saw him talking to the principal. So he actually turned himself in, which means Caspian, well, I guess Maleko, he's gonna get a call soon from the school. And I'm actually not gonna show that part, but I'll get to it in a little bit. But yeah, that is basically the gist of things for the intro. I think for the most part, it explains itself. But if you have any questions and wanna leave them in the comments, I can try to address them in the next episode. If there's anything I need to clarify more. But yeah, so they're just snorkeling. They're having fun. Let's pretend that Maleko, let's get them out of the water. Let's pretend that Maleko's getting a call. I can't like make this happen. 
Ben, but pretend he is. And we're gonna go to see the teens, but while that's happening, they're gonna go talk to the principal of Caspian's old school. She's gonna let them know that this other kid has turned himself in and he's paid back the money that he took. But yeah, so we'll let them do that. And then we're gonna go to the teens in Sulani. But after we see the teens and that short machinima is gonna happen before the time skip, you guys will kind of see what was talked about and it'll explain things a little bit better. But yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, so we are at the, we were here last time, the mermaid palace of the Sulani family. Okay, so they're gonna go swimming. Gonna talk about the story post. So I did post a story post on Instagram of how I think the conversation went in the last episode. Cause if you guys remember, Cleo and Alice May got into an argument. So I did a story post of how I think that conversation exactly went. So that's the first one that's linked below. And then another story post was of Caspian and Alice May on the phone. So Alice May had called him late at night just because she was feeling down after the argument with Kaleo. She just wanted someone to talk to. So she didn't tell Caspian about the fight. She just said she wanted a distraction. So they just got to talking. They ended up falling asleep on the phone. And then the next post was of Caspian and his dad. So his dad had seen that Caspian fell asleep on the phone with Alice May when he went to go wake him up the next morning. So he brought it up the next morning when him and Caspian were having breakfast and Caspian ended up admitting to his dad that he does have feelings for Alice May. And then the fourth post was of all the teens except for Alice May at the Sulani Palace. So it took place the day after Cleo and Alice May got in the argument and Cleo was asking where Alice May was because everyone was down to breakfast except for her. And Molly Grace just said she's feeling tired today. So Cleo was just like, does anyone else feel like Alice May doesn't hang out with us as much anymore? And Cleo just has his own ideas of what he thinks is going on with without really knowing what's going on. He's just making assumptions. He's feeling insecure. He's feeling jealous. He thinks that Alice May is using her being tired as like an excuse. And then in his mind, he's kind of just like formed this idea that Alice May is actually like ditching them for Caspian and that she's hanging out with him all the time and talking to him all the time. So he's making it seem like it's all Caspian's fault that Alice May is acting like this and it's Caspian's fault that Alice May isn't talking to them as much anymore or hanging out with them or anything like that, even though it really has nothing to do with Caspian. So that was that post. And then the last one was of the girls. So it was Molly Grace bringing up to Alice May what Kaleo had said because he was making it seem like that Alice May is talking and hanging out with Caspian all the time. So Molly Grace brought that up and she had asked if Caspian's the reason why she doesn't see Alice May as much anymore because they don't hang out as much as they used to. And Alice May just said, no, like that's not it. She's just been feeling tired and lethargic and it's hard for her to even just get out of bed sometimes and just do simple tasks. And she's feeling sad a lot. She didn't tell them that part, but she's just feeling really down sometimes and she'll get in these moods and that affects if she wants to go out and hang out with her friends because it's not like she can just walk down the street either. She usually has to like fly to her friends. And the teens are all still really young. Molly Grace kind of just assumed that something must have happened that Alice May isn't telling her and that's the reason why she's upset or that she's tired. Even though Alice May said no, like she doesn't know what's going on. And the stress of that conversation just started making Alice May tear up a little. And Nani was finally just like, she said she doesn't know, like just leave her alone. Oh, is he wearing a shirt as he's a mermaid? Interesting, I've never seen that before. Something happened there and I don't know what it is. Well, that's fine. Cleo's gonna swim around with a shirt for a bit, but it's just been a rough week. For Alice May, everyone's kind of stopped swimming. Maybe I should have them go do something. I'll have I'll have everybody go hang out. But yeah, she's usually pretty forgiving. So after the argument, like her and Kaleo, things have been kind of tense between them. But yeah, so they're gonna be here for the rest of the week. We're about to do a time skip to winter. And obviously we'll see more of the teens later. But okay, so we're about to see a machinima and it's going to be the day that Alice May and Caspian are leaving after Caspian. Caspian and his dad has talked to the school to find out that the other kid has turned himself in, which means Caspian's not expelled anymore. And then we're gonna be doing a time skip and we will be with Samaria and Bellatrix to have their baby. And then we'll go see the Willow Creek Royal family. Thank you. 
Okay, so you guys just saw that Gaspian has a year basically to let his dad know if he wants to move back or not. So we'll definitely talk about all that later. I just wanted to show that scene, but I like didn't know when to show it because I needed to do the time skip in this episode. Okay, so it's now winter. I know it doesn't look it because we're in Subani still and it's still gorgeous weather enough for them to still go swimming. But once we get to Willow Creek, you guys will see. It'll be snowing and everything. And then Samario, I'm just waiting for her to go into labor please look at her oh whoa okay so her belly looked really weird in her bathing suit because there's like a strap so it looked like the strap was like weighing down the top part of her belly so i changed her into this instead but she's pregnant she's gonna go into labor soon the dress looks super weird but it's fine bellatrix it oh why are you tense no okay guys samaria is now in labor oh my god i'm so excited um okay Go, shall we have you guys go, oh, I guess go to the hospital, have baby at hospital, just send them alone, it's fine. Bellatrix going to, you guys have a baby, I'm so excited. Okay guys, so they had a boy. I am going to name him, so he would have Lord. So I'm gonna name him Nohea, so that's N-O-H-E-A. Oh, whoops. Okay, cool. But this is no hay. Oh, he's crying already. Okay, so let uh shush feed. So I will use the uh the baby preset thing that I've done for Zayori and Rin. I'll use it on him too, and then definitely we'll take some pictures and show you guys him very, very soon. I'm so excited. But yeah, they now have a baby. Oh, there are other couples that are pregnant too that I, well, we'll see one of them later, but Akio and Izumi, they've been trying for a while. Finally pregnant, Izumi is pregnant. I think we'll be able to see them in the next episode because I think that Araminta is gonna be having her baby just a little bit before Izumi is. So we'll get to see both of them in the next episode. But yeah, Araminta is gonna have her baby in the next episode. Oh, we'll actually see Araminta in this episode because she's gonna be at the party at the Willow Creek Palace later. But yeah, Izumi and Akio, they're expecting and then Lady Ariana and Sir Thomas. Ariana's pregnant, so they're expecting two. Oh, and then Journey and Maxwell. I don't think we're gonna see them in this episode, but we'll see them soon. Oh, and Ch Charles and Fallon, they're also pregnant, I forgot. I didn't think we needed to go see everybody. Maybe we should go see them. We'll go see them. How about that? Okay. I wasn't planning on doing that in this episode, but I think that's fine. They're only in like their first trimester though. The only couple that's expecting a baby that we're not gonna see until the next episode is gonna be Akio and Izumi, but we'll see all the other ones in this episode. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, baby, they have a baby. I'm excited. I'll definitely post pictures and share them in the next episode. Right now, he's just the whole Sims EA baby that looks like every other baby. We'll see what he actually looks like in the next episode, but I'm so excited for them. Before we go to the Willow Creek Royal Family, let's go see Journey and Maxwell and Charles and Fallon. Okay, so we are now at Charles and Fallon's home. So this is their new home. I had replaced the previous lot that was here. Charles and Fallon's home. This this is made by Zach, Z-A-K underscore A-L 2002. It's called English Cottage. I just replaced the, um, not wallpaper, the siding, the brick color, and then Bellatrix and Samaria's. I forgot to let you guys know who made this one. So this is by Sarah Amina and it's called Suwani Dream Home. But yeah, so we're getting to see Fallon and Journey. They're both pregnant. Again, they're both in their first trimester. Let me, I'm just trying to pick a different outfit for Journey. They're both in their first trimester, so they're really, like, they're barely showing. Can I have, though, I guess you can't feel the baby because the belly's not big enough. But I think Fallon can, sh yeah, she can share, I mean, Charles already knows she's pregnant. <laughs> but share big news and then share big news with Journey too. So if you don't remember, Journey is from my Royal Twin Adventure series with Charles and Bellatrix. She was Fallon's roommate and best friend. And then she ended up marrying Maxwell, which you guys know Maxwell. He is Charles and Bellatrix and Diana's cousin. Oh, they're so cute. But they're both pregnant at the same time. And I think that's really cute. I definitely want to take pregnancy pictures with both Journey and Fallon. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys them. I'm sure we will see them another time with their 
bigger baby bumps. I can't, you can barely see journeys though. They're only in their first trimester, so it's really hard to see. I can see Fallon's a little bit, but yeah, they're both pregnant. I just wanted to show you guys, we're gonna see Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton at the Willow Creek Palace later when we have the party. And I think Diana and Abraham will be trying for a baby pretty soon too. But yeah, I'm so excited for all the babies. Okay, so we are now in Willow Creek. We are at this restaurant in Willow Creek because the Willow Creek Royal family is having lunch here. And this is the first time they're meeting Genevieve's boyfriend. So before this, they got a call from Genevieve. She specifically told her mom, she was on the phone with her mother. She was like, hey, like they know that she was coming home from the holidays, but she said she is bringing someone that she wants the family to meet. So then word got around the family, Genevieve's mom, or their, I mean, all the kids' mom, Corinne. She was the one who told all the kids that Genevieve is bringing someone home. And as you guys know, Cornelius is really close with Genevieve. So he was just like, wait, what? Genevieve's never mentioned seeing anybody before. Also, why didn't she tell me? Like she told our mother, but she didn't tell me specifically that she was bringing someone home. So he's already in a bad mood about this. I feel like she told them like a day or two before to the point where like she was probably on a plane traveling and didn't have cell service. And Cornelius was trying to call her and text her and being like, what the heck? But he couldn't get a hold of her. And I feel like Genevieve saw it like probably when she landed and was like, I don't, I don't even know what you would say to that. <laughs> I think she was like, look, I'll see you soon. We'll talk about it soon. Like I, I can't really talk on the phone right now. So they're gonna get a chance to talk during this whole thing. We're at lunch right now. Then we're gonna have the party at the Willow Creek Palace. But you guys ready to meet Genevieve's boyfriend? So they are all sitting here right now. It's a pretty fancy restaurant, especially for lunch. Like it's, I imagined, it's exactly what I imagined. It'd be kind of awkward because Genevieve has not mentioned this guy to any of her family members at all. She's been dating him for months. So, oh, I'm sorry. So this is John. <laughs> Genevieve and John met while she was traveling. It's kind of hard with the worlds because I don't, like there's not enough worlds in the Sims that I think there are in this world. But how Genevieve and John met was, I definitely got this out of a movie. I don't remember which movie, but it's been in multiple movies, I think. But I feel like that Genevieve, the car that she was riding around in, that it broke down. And she definitely travels with like a body Guard. And then John saw that they were having trouble. So he offered her a ride in his car and that's how they met and they got to talking and they've been dating ever since. So I think they've been dating for like six months. Like it's been a while and she's not told Cornelius or any of her siblings or her parents. Um, Cornelius is angry. <laughs> He's not happy about this at all. Oh, I can, I, they're just all silent. All oh, okay, please talk to each other. Genevieve, uh, well, actually, no, Corinne, maybe you would try to get to know him, ask him questions, ask him about day. So John, so he travels a lot too. And, oh, okay, um, no, don't ask for a foot massage. Complain about snow, sure. But John is a foreign service officer, so he does travel a lot. They have like recently been traveling together, but at first Genevieve and John, they were kind of doing like their own, they had their own schedule and that they needed to stay on to travel. And then they would meet up when they could. But recently they've been traveling together more. Cornelius is not happy whatsoever. So this should be interesting. But yeah, so this is the first time they're meeting him and then we're gonna go to the party at the palace tonight. And then that will, it might be a little bit overwhelming for John because it's gonna be a lot of their close family and friends, but at least he got to be at lunch with Genevieve's siblings and parents first and Alice, of course. I also think that maybe John, like it was a last minute decision for him to come home with her for the holidays. So this hasn't been something that they were planning for a while. So I think that's another reason why it was so last minute it and why she had to tell her family, obviously now. But yeah, so this is John. And next we're gonna go to the Willow Creek Palace and we'll get to talk to them more. You guys will get to see because I think that John is definitely getting the vibes that Cornelius doesn't like him right now. John knows that Cornelius and Genevieve are really close. So I think that he definitely, like he wants to impress the whole family. He's very nervous, but I think that he really wants Cornelius to like him and at least be on good terms with him. Oh, and we have Naya's little brother here. We have Marquis Michael here. 
here. He's just chatting with them. Okay, he's leaving now. But yeah, okay, they ate. So now we're gonna go party. Okay, we are now at the Willow Creek Palace for our little holiday party. It is, um, it's supposed to be like seven o'clock right now, but it's still pretty bright. Oh, it's 6.30, still, it's a little bit bright. We have our little party going on in here. I'll show everybody who's here. I'll show you guys, everybody that's here. So it's basically Louis's side of the family. So as you guys know, Louis is a triplet. So it's his other, tri it's Belle and Jack and their kids and their spouses. So their families. So we have from Jack, we have Jack and his wife, Ari, Countess Ari, and Gabriel and Minerva. And obviously Ari is here because Gabriel and Ari are married. And then from Belle, we have Belle, her husband, Francisco, daughter, Lady Ariana, and then Lady Ariana's husband, Sir Thomas. And now you guys get to see pregnant Lady Ariana. So she's in her second trimester right now, I believe. So she'll definitely be having her baby in the next episode. And then we have Araminta and Han and Zayori and Rin here. Oh, Oh, Rin's just waiting. Uh, Araminta is sitting right now, but she's in her third trimester and she'll be having her baby in the next episode. I know it's been a while, I'm so sorry. It's just that like when I'm getting into the story stuff, like AM story, I have to slow down time a little bit and time skip when I can. But Han and Araminta will be having their third child in the next episode and I'm so excited. Also, she looks stunning, Jesus. <gasps> and then Han being such a cute dad. <gasps> oh my gosh, and then Zayori. I love this family so much. Okay, Rin was a little bit sad, but like Han's making her happy right now. Sayori is so cute. They're so cute. Oh my God, look at, okay, this is Rin. Her hair grew a little bit longer. She's so freaking cute. I actually have a matching outfit for Zayori. I'm gonna have the match. I took a family photo of them in these outfits and oh my goodness gracious, they were freaking cute. They're such cute sisters. They're so close. They love playing together. I love them. I'm sorry, I'm going fair all over them. They're so cute. I just, I love them so much. Yeah, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm done. Oh my gosh, look at, Cornelius moping. He's not angry anymore though, so that's good. Oh, and then of course we have Takshi and Manuel here, and then Arya and Gabriel. So again, they are waiting to have kids. They were gonna wait a year from when they got married. So they got married like in the summertime. It's winter time now. I promise I have a reason for waiting so long other than the reason that Gabriel gave. I don't wanna spoil anything. So when it happens, I will be like, okay, that was the reason why I've waited so long. And then where is he? So I did say there was another proposal that's going to happen. So you know how Manuel proposed to Juliet in the last episode. Well, it's been a couple months since they got engaged. And I feel like Elena's at this point just like, I wanna get engaged. Like her and Juliet wanna have a combined wedding and it's been months since Juliet and Manuel got engaged. So Elena's just like, I don't wanna wait anymore. I'm just gonna propose to Takashi. So she's gonna propose to Takashi. I feel like around now is probably a good, well, I'm gonna wait until after we do this because um, John still wants to try to impress Cornelius. Cornelius has not really been talking to him tonight. So maybe he's trying to strike up a conversation with him. They already have a little bit of a negative relationship. And I just think that's from Cornelius being like an overprotective brother, like way more protective than he needs to be. He's having a bad attitude about this. Then again, Genevieve didn't tell him that she was seeing someone, so I can kind of see why he'd be upset, but they're with family and friends. He needs to lighten up a little bit. John's trying to talk to him, so they are talking. Okay, are they, uh, are they argue? No, Cornelius, oh no. Okay, well, Cornelius is arguing with John. I really, like, John's kind of like, obviously this is the animations from The Sims. I don't think he would argue back. I don't even know what they're arguing about. Cornelius probably just tried to, pick something out and was like being critical about it or something. Where's Ellis? Uh, El is Ellis cooking? He's cooking. We don't cook. No, you guys are fine. Get out of the kitchen. Every everyone's in the kitchen right now. What? Literally the entire family. They're just cooking. Ellis, go come down Cornelius. Okay, Genevieve has joined the conversation. <laughs> Cornelius is so angry right now. I think he needs to just step out, just step away. Okay, so he's taking a breather. Ellis is going to follow him now. He's like, oh, he can calm his emotions. Wait, hold on. Ellis is trying to calm Cornelius down. Although Cornelius is not being the most receptive. Oh, he's like, okay, breathe. <laughs> I honestly feel like Ellis would tell Cornelius like, you need to calm down. You need to stop. Genevieve really likes this guy. Like I know 
know you're upset that Genevieve didn't tell you about him, but you need to calm down. This is a party, all your family and friends are here. If you need to talk to her because you're upset, then talk to her later. But right now, you do not need to be your overprotective self. Basically just like telling him to chill. Okay, did he, did he chill? <gasps> Wait, um, I mean, kind of. He still has the angry mood lip, but he's happy. Oh, I didn't think that was actually gonna work right away, but it did. Oh no, wait, oh no, wait, no! He just argued back with Ellis. Oh, come on, you guys can't do this. You're getting, they're getting married in the next episode, by the way. I think that might've just been Cornelius being his sassy self, making a little snide remark and Ellis being like Cornelius. And he's like, okay, sorry, I'm done. I think they're fine now. He's feeling happier. He's gonna do a smooth apology. Cornelius is gonna do a smooth apology. And Ellis is like, okay, fine. Okay, oh, now it's a group conversation. So Cornelius is apologizing to John. But now we are going to have Elena propose to Takashi. You know what? I was gonna have her propose like here, but I, I do actually think she would propose outside and then come back in and be like, we're engaged. Um, it is very cold outside. Okay, so Elena has asked Takashi to come outside. They're very cold, at least Elena is. And she's flirting with him. They're very cute. Okay, but I think she's about to propose to him in the gardens. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, okay. She's proposing. Yay! They're engaged. Yeah, I just feel like Elena was like, I don't want to wait anymore. So I'm just gonna propose to Takashi. But they're engaged, they're super cute. So I will definitely have to figure out when all the weddings are gonna be because we got so many proposals recently. Oh, I love them, they're cute. Okay, but yeah, I think they're gonna go back inside and be like, we're engaged. I feel like Cornelius is gonna be like, what? I think he was expecting it though. I don't think he's that surprised about this. Oh wait, one more thing before we go. Last thing. Um, so uh, let's see, where'd we go? Um, Genevieve, I feel like since she called her mother ahead of time, told her that she has someone that she wants them to meet. She asked them to put out a menorah because John is Jewish, um, but I'm actually gonna have them light one of the candles. So John and Genevieve. But yeah, so it's the second night of Hanukkah. Genevieve wanted to make sure that they had a menorah out. Okay, yeah, she's lighting it now. There you go. Uh, wait, no, I, I just wanted you to light one. Wait, that's not what I asked you to do. Okay, so apparently if you light candle with, it's a singular candle, so I thought that they would just light one, but apparently she lights all of them. She only needs to light one more for the second night, so I guess we'll just pretend that they're doing that and I just have to say light candle. That's weird. I wish you could light just one with someone. Well, okay, yeah, that's the last thing. Let me know your thoughts on everything or if there's anything that needed to be clarified. Again, make sure you guys are being respectful and kind to each other in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.